of every Call of Duty Zombies, uh, Treyarch or not, starting from Black Ops 2, because that's where I started playing, all the way up to the current Black Ops 4. Uh, Hello? Anyone if this else is a live gameplay with Black Ops 4 in the background, too fast, huh? Snap right back to the cave. I don't do well, I don't do well. Um, Looks like it's all on me. Again. So, yeah, I'm gonna start starting Black Ops 2, because that's the only one I've actually played. I haven't played War of War or Black Ops 1. Uh, I plan on doing it in the future, and I might release a separate video just for those. But to start off with, uh, Black Ops 2. So this released uh, 2012, and I played it up until about 2013, 2014-ish. Um, and this was my first Call of Duty game that I've played, and it was honestly really fun. I played it on PS3 with, uh, like, most of the time split screen with my brother. And this, in my opinion, is the best zombies experience that I have had as a casual player. Okay, there's Scar. no, get to work. Um, Pack him down. Like, there's no, because I play town. Every crazy fucking hoop you'll need to jump there's through. pretty much no, like, crazy strikes you have to do to get pack a punch. Buried is also something I played a lot. You didn't have to do things to get pack a punch. It was simple and it was fun, and you could high round on it without a lot of experience. This is almost starting uh, to feel normal. There was quite a few uh, launch maps. There was transit, and then I believe it was farm and town. I played town, uh, which they're all part of transit. But I feel like just the fact that you get those just to start off with. I'm so glad they're nice. entertained. There's a lot of games later down the lines. Most of them don't come with two launch maps. Or more than one launch map, really. Insta kill. There we go. Way so, too much of Dad's nonsense there's a lot of complaints about and Black Ops 2, zombies, how there's the lava and the fog and all that. I mainly Boy, just hate the lava. Her a surprise when uh, I wrap this shit up and get train. back to the cave. So, there's not much I can really talk about. It's a pretty classic zombies experience. Moving on to Advanced Warfare, or Exozombies. Uh, I got that around 2014. Well, I saw a part of you. And That's gotta count for something. I just recently played it again. And I can honestly say that this is not the worst zombies iteration. It was honestly just a pretty fun experience. Like, going at Gunner's it coming. now, you're ready to go. it really is fun. Like, you can run around with the exo suit and train around, have a good time. I, again, didn't do any Easter eggs or don't know pretty much anything about the game. And I was able to go in there and just have a fun time with it. Uh, I really like knifing in that game. It's pretty solid. You get, like, it feels pretty good. Good impact in later games, like Infinite Warfare. No, you really I do don't not get need that to be burned alive today. Thing. Thank you. And it's really nice. It just seems, like, less consistent. Like, in this game, I feel like Double points. Double points, money, whatever the hell you are. I'm investing in firepower. Alright, so this wasn't the Treyarch Zombies, so some people give it hate for that. Uh, it did have most of the classic things, uh, perks, wonder weapon upgrades, wall buys, pretty much everything that makes zombies, zombies. And I honestly can say that that's where the game thrived. It didn't need to be Treyarch Zombies to be a good zombies game. That's something I'm going to bring up in the top of this video. Uh, the next one is going to be of Black Ops 3. Fire burns us and not them. Why? This is because the laws of chemistry. most That's people why. consider the best iteration of zombies. I can disagree more. I actually do not like Black Ops 3 no, Zombies. I'm not that um... And really, what I didn't like about it was, um, just how, okay. right, to start off, that it only had one launch like map, which isn't in itself bad, but when the launch map 
is Shadows of Evil, does, which has a lot of Easter eggs and you like need to do rituals and ass. find a lot of parts just to get Pack-a-Punch. I feel like that's an issue. Um, moving on from that, it had pretty annoying enemies, the Meatballs, the Marguas, hey, stuff like that. Just It Go wasn't very fun to play, but play but from a casual, casual player. That's all this video is going to be. So if you guys want an actual full review of zombies, then this isn't the video. Glad they're in a game. What map's the best, what the maps, this and that. This is just from a casual player's perspective. Uh, in Shadows of Evil, there wasn't any, like, one spot that I could actually, like, just train around and have fun. Like, to compare it to something current, 9, uh, like, there's a huge area right in the beginning. Like, the starting room. There's a nice big area to train, so you don't feel cramped. You can just sit there and, like, relax. Uh, I've introduced gobble gums, which a lot of people hate on. And I personally angels. think was a huge mistake. Because uh, it Daddy honestly just ruins the Danny. game for the most part. According to Celtic lore, she was the mother of the earth. Apparently, Mama's kind of a bitch. So, yeah, that's when uh, they started adding microtransactions and stuff that really affects zombies, which is when I started to get lost. That with guys the, hate me. You um, think I'd shot their dog or something? Like that Buzz, with everything else, just did not make that a very good fun game for me. Uh, cool. So the good, the one redeeming quality on Black Ops 3 is on PC. Um, the custom maps that you can get bring an entirely new experience into the game. Pretty much, it's kept the game alive this long, and I can say I'm going to buy it on PC just so I can play custom, yeah, custom maps. So, it is a good. Thing. So, moving on to Infinite Warfare, okay, you golden, a lot of people of hated bitch. the multiplayer Not on this game. Like, the passion, this game is not a fan favorite, but the zombies mode is actually quite fun. And I'm not sure why people just hate on it so much. It does deserve a little bit of credit, because even though it wasn't a great zombies game, long. it was, it wasn't the worst. Like, it wasn't... Um, it was very, it's very casual, there's not any ridiculous easter eggs that you have to do to unlock pack a punch, you just have to go around, uh, looking the portals, and honestly, that's what made the game fun, for a casual player. Um, Um, it did bring fate and fortune cards, which Need more ammo. No way am I fighting these freaks hand to hand the rest of the day. Probably the biggest thing that was affected. There were weapon variants, but nothing was really that bad with it. Yes. If that makes sense. Oh, I feel the uh, it wins. wasn't affected too much by the multiplayer. Oh, good time. Uh, gameplay, like by all the microtransactions and stuff like that. The Fate and Fortune cards, you have enough to start off with that you can easily just use them and still have a pretty enjoyable time. They didn't alter the game to the point where if you didn't have them, you wouldn't succeed. Yeah, let's see. One thing I absolutely hated about Infinite Warfare, the knifing. Uh, the knife did not feel good in Infinite Warfare at all. I just played it before recording this video, Anyone need a light? and it was really not fun, like knifing wise. It was actually pretty fun to get, to try to get to a high round, um, but there's just little things, it's probably based on the engine that it was made from, that made the knifing not feel great, but going 
like there's nothing that made the multiplayer like nothing in the zombie apart from the variants which I wish I knew how that could works. be a pretty big bonus one myself you can still go through the game without them uh, there was only one launch map zombies in spaceland and it is pretty fun uh, I don't love the setup of the map but I can honestly say it is fun it's not like trying to be really gritty it's trying to be like a light-hearted fun game and that's where I feel like it really like shines They had some pretty fun celebrities. How many more of these bruisers I can take? Uh, Kevin James, there was David Hasselhoff as the DJ. So it again it didn't take itself too seriously for a zombie. Uh, and for not being a Treyarch zombies, well, which that's the go. standard that every game every zombie that, in my opinion, the worst Call of Duty zombies experience, COD World War II. Uh, again, this wasn't a Treyarch title, this one is Sledgehammer Games, I believe. I gotta keep one of them alive. So, it, to start off, was not fun. Uh, the two maps that launched with it, uh, it kinda had the setup of Black Ops 2, where there was one... A larger map, and then one map where. Uh, how do I explain this? One map where it was like a part of the bigger map. If that makes any sort of sense. I hope sense. they realize that'll stain the tile. So. Not great for the pipes either. Way to yeah, run a just, perfectly good water That feature. did not strike well with me to start off with. Uh, another thing. The perks, like everything in the game is German. It's supposed to be a Nazi zombies game. And that could work for it. But a lot of times when you picked up a perk and you didn't already know what it was, it was actually like hard to think of what it was because the name was in German. Like in literally in a different language. It's getting so. to be like a circus in here. That was annoying. Again, not a huge gameplay thing, but just another complaint that I have. Okay. Uh, it was a very dark Call of Duty, and for some people that could be a good thing, they could like the dark, more gritty maps, but I feel like it really just did not work for the map. It mainly just made it difficult to see. Like, it didn't make it any scarier. Uh, I did not play an extensive amount of time on it. From what I did play, which again, I played a bit it really was just not, not my favorite call of duty. I gotta get the box. So, the melee in that game too. The melees are a pretty big thing for me, which is why I'm going to talk about it so much. Uh, the melee sucked. They tried to redo the melee in that on a higher round with one hit but the animation for it was much slower, and you really didn't have an option to do a quick melee. So it could be insta-kill, and you could be trying to knife some zombies, or shovel the zombies, and you could just get completely overrun because you're stuck in an animation and can't move. And I feel like that's a pretty big design flaw. Uh, let's see. The new class mechanics. I know Black Ops 3 is the one that introduced, like, I believe the Annihilator and the gravity like spikes in the place. zombies, but I, I feel like this game was when it really Those like introduced the specialists because you got one That's right true? off the bat. You didn't have to do anything for it; you just picked it and like you got to play with it. And that was a really good thing good for the game, Lord. and it made it more fun to play. You can pick different perks and stuff. Whatever that priest is trying to do, and it was just much more fun with it. I'm not the balls. 
sit down here. Max ammo. Let's see if I can get something good. I'm not even gonna take that. Alright, and the final zombies. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies, the game I'm currently playing. Um, for a lot of people, this is their most hated zombies. Or the zombies that this they I can dislike the most because of how different it made things. Uh, I thought I traded in the shotgun. Because uh, it did reimagine a lot of things, and that's where I really feel like the game shined. It was a different experience to prior Black Ops Zombies games, so it didn't feel like you were just paying for the same game, but new maps every year, if you had no intention of playing multiplayer. It made the zombies more fun. Uh, the core perks you pretty much had to buy, double tap, and you now just had to pack your weapon a lot to get that effect, which again, a lot of people hated. Uh, quick revive and solo like play, into a corner. you automatically get a couple downs for free, and you can automatically just get back up, which again, a lot of people didn't. But it made it so that you had more freedom in the perks that you could choose, and no way am I sitting the rest of this. and stamina up, okay. I gotta go pack some. So, I don't I love the pack punch, life. but at least they tried to do something different. Which is more than I can say for a lot of games. So, let's see. The elixirs, they the same thing as Infinite Warfare, they offered you a lot of stock elixirs that you could use so that you really weren't at a huge disadvantage. But some of the like mega ones were or still are pretty broken. As in, like ones that give you free pack a punch guns, like a wall buy pack. Like, I don't feel like that has a place in zombies, because it takes the challenge out of zombies. For some people, they like it, but it really just is not positive. I designed a kitten launcher when I was a kid. And as a whole. And then it is a joke. But I wouldn't guess that. Uh, there's launcher. a lot of Easter eggs. Uh, some people really like the Love the Dead remaster. Some people really like Voyage for both of them. I couldn't really care for, which is why I'm playing on 9. 9 is easily one of my favorite Zombies maps. It is fun, open, really simple, for casual players, and it came with the game. And coming with the game is also a big thing because, uh, like some games before it, this game launched with three launch maps for zombies. Voyage of Despair, which some people don't like. Uh, I'm personally not a fan because it's very cramped. Uh, Blood of the Dead, which is a remastered mo or reimagined Mob of the Dead, which isn't bad, but it's not we got trouble It's incoming. not my map. And this map, 9, which is oh, very goodness. simple. Very new friendly map. Um, which is why I play it and I like to try to get the pretty high rounds. Uh, no, like, nothing really ever breaks the 40s, but it is still pretty fun. Uh, I also like the specialists that they have in this game. They use just recycle the ones for the player you put in here. Uh, they actually like made their own like personally I like the hammer of Valhalla the most because I feel like it's easily the best one. But you guys can have different opinions and it overall gave the players more choice. Full power. I feel like Black Ops 4 uh, is the best iteration of zombies for the current generation. Overall, it was a bit more difficult because you really had to buy uh, four perks and you couldn't deviate from them or else the you would not get a good run. But Don't mind this me. game is easily, uh, easily one of my favorites. It beats out some. I don't really have a top ten. Trust me. I know but how math works. this is also no DLCs. 
um, apart from Black Ops 2, because honestly, if you're a casual player, you're more than likely not going to bother with the DLCs. You're just going to want one gaming experience, and then that's going to be it. Uh, but this is the best word or wave based uh, zombie, Call of Duty zombie thing that you, a casual player, could buy. Like, currently. Of course, with PC, you can, I would recommend Black Ops 3 because of the custom maps. You can basically find a map to to any type of playstyle, um, which is a positive thing as a whole. But if you're a console player, or don't want to deal with custom maps or anything like that, Black Ops 4 is the map, is the game for you. Now, there is one other game. Not a Call of Duty game, but it's called Killing Floor. More precisely, Killing Floor 2. It is a great game. I've played it uh, quite a bit. It has different classes you can play as, which uh, don't really affect the gameplay. If you need to, you can use guns from a different class uh, and not like, get penalized for it. But its main feature is it is built for casual players. On PC, there's a small cosmetic market in the community market. But on console, you can hop in after not playing and just kill some zombies with the boss at the end. Um, and overall, that is probably the best zombies experience for casual players. Not Call of Duty zombies. Okay. Why do I hate shooting these tigers? Cute and fluffy. And there is, however, if you do have a phone that can run it well enough, I highly recommend it. It's pretty fun. The most casual you can get. It's World at War maps, so if they don't have any Easter on. Get some perks. Of course, it is extremely flawed. You can get mm, the same gun three times, and while well, you're already like have it, which is an issue, you can get two ray guns at once. I have to get sauce really, it time. shouldn't be taken seriously for an actual recommendation. But if you want to try out the they format, like you've never played too. a Call of Duty zombie scene before, and you want to try out the format. Call of Duty Mobile, hop on Zombies, and we'll see, because it's the same format and the same style as any other Call of Duty Zombies game, um, but of course it is free, and it is, okay, not sure how that just happened, I had, I should have had super armor from my specialist, but apparently not, time to get back in the fight, I also perks, but, yeah, this is not going to be a good one this game. I am going to play this out until the end of this video. Don't worry, uh, I'll spend it wisely. Yeah, there are of course other zombies games or uh, modes that you can try to play. This is I like what I recommend to be the best zombies game mode for casual players. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So, we're just gonna go through the rest of the video. You can leave now if you want, but we're gonna go through the rest of the video, just finishing off this map. And that means I have to get a good packed weapon. So I'm gonna hit the box, try to get Circuit's Kiss. They're the whatever of Osiris. Looks like the Pharaoh's trying to buy his okay. way into heaven. Once I get a decent gun packed like three times, I'll go open my perks. I really hope this is the right way to box. Because I really don't want to spend a lot on doors. I play this game quite a lot, but I still still can't navigate the underground world. You know, at some point, Death of Orion, let's go. Not even gonna bother with it. Okay, I'm 
just gonna pack these. Bye bye. The order. I once pack that first. While he was tracing these artifacts. I could use it and then pack it, but here? honestly, the unpacked version kind of sucks. Please should be running rear. time Not slip you, over this. Diego. Uh, don't care he's that much. Friends. He's putting us through the ringer, but he's not trying to kill us. I think he wants us to. I think win. I can get this max packed. Reduce damage. Uh, oh, to continue on Black Ops 4 a little bit. The There's no way, way to get all to four original perks. Spawn so with Jug. Spawn with Quick Revive. Um, yeah, I think that's the last boost damage. Um, to get, uh, grab double tap, you have to get like the max the pack. Alright, yeah, this is max pack. Uh. So basically, I have double tap on this weapon right now. Um, which, it's annoying I don't have it for everything, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna run back up here. Uh, for quick reload completely forgot what that was called. Um, you just have to get all four perks, and then you automatically get a uh, quick reload. Uh, in Infinite Warfare, actually, there was a pretty fun perk called Quickies. It's like a better speed reload, and you basically just buy it, and you can also board up uh, like windows faster, which I do like. It's a nice, nice touch. I don't know what'll kill me oh, first. The rot jockeys or Shaw's elixirs. Oh. Break their bones. Another brawler with pointy knife hands, because one's never enough. It's an insta. Now's our chance. Put down as many as you can. Completely missed. Got some. Strike one marauder. Yeah, once you get set up in this game, it's pretty fun. So you can't really put it down once you have all your perks and everything. Max Issue is getting to that point with how to get freaking five racks really quick to buy berserkers, or else I'm not gonna survive. Alright, I do have kilowatt on this thing, so that's a plus. The camos do look like they're made of cheese on this game, but I think that's, like, it's a very minor thing. It doesn't affect the game really at all. I guess Black Ops 3 introduced uh, spawning with a different weapon than usual. Uh, if you did, I believe, a Shadow's Easter egg on Black Ops 3, you spawned with the RK5 instead of the MR6. Or no, instead Open of the Bloodhound. Season on pug uglies. So, that was something. I don't want to kill this last zombie, but I want. Crap. Okay. I have just enough for. Electric chair. And. Berserker's Brew. I don't know why I call it Berserker's Brew. Uh, is it possible to distill a uh, it's called Dying Wish. Because I'm pretty sure someone so. tried. At a clean zero points. Uh, 
there is also an e a pretty big easter egg on this map. If you do a certain amount of really dumb steps, you can fight elephants as a boss. See if I can get time slip and stamina up. Actually, I don't think I even need time slip anymore. Oh, I do for the. Okay, that just smells like a fart someone cut in a jar. Stand All right, so now. Alright. Yep, it's a. I just call these guys the gladiators. Uh, I think their real name is Requees. It's getting to be like a oh, circus sure. in here. Tires. Never mind. Another mad gladiator. Nope. Like it or not, the fight is coming to us. So I just stopped doing the challenges because there's really no reason to kill the probably. So. Max ammo. Uh, From the world, right into my weapon. All right. Yeah, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Oh yeah, another thing. Black Ops 3, if you're like an actual invested player, like there's a ton of lore in that game, I'm not even gonna bother picking that up. Uh, but, like, I don't care really hey, at all about the lore. I, again, just try to high round inevitably fail. Squeeze Scorpion, destroy everything. Simple enough. And... There's plenty of bullets for the rest of you. See, this is... Oh, crap. Where the hell is this place? They even have tigers in the room. Guys have the good sense to cover their rotten faces. Thumbs down. Yes! Alright. Uh, you can also get crowd items. Uh, if you do stuff like not go down, don't jump on the fire, don't get hit. Basically, if you're a good zombies player, you're gonna be getting pretty regular drops. Uh, some of them could be specialist, like, target items. Some of them could be... Indigenous, is it? Best not turn over any rough. Uh, like, double points, a few seconds. Let's put him to you. Heads up, fellas. Jack on four legs approaching. It is double XP as of the time of me posting this uh, for President's Day, so 
get on here and do stuff. If you have it, if not, maybe this video inspired you to buy it. Buy Just Modern like Warfare if you want multiplayer. Like this game is completely awesome. detached from any multiplayer opinions. Alright, Coliseum. Let's see what you got. This is another fire sale. Fire sales are pretty good. If you have a fire sale elixir, I highly recommend popping that really early on as soon as you open the first door. So that you can More tigers. get is... pretty much any weapon you want by just spinning the box. Like super early on. Daddy. That does go into Yo, elixirs and gobble gums are ruining the game. Incoming Which Ascai. I do agree with packed weapons or like extra perks. That just spawn, like, fire you see power ups. They just help you, sent you early on. Because like if you get to the point where I'm at, really, um, it and put it to good fire use. sale is not gonna do anything. Like I've gotten like three and I haven't used any of them. I wish there was a way you could store drops though, like store insta kill. Mm. See another fire sale. That box of bones has some devastating weapons in it. We're taking a spin for ten bucks. Well, apparently in this game, it is... She just said bucks, so apparently they're not... They're bucks. I designed they're a kid dollars. launcher when I was a kid. I meant it as a joke. But I wouldn't give for a tighter launcher. I how many more of these bruises I can take. Challenges though, because it does. If you do them early, uh, you can get a pack of punches to strike. So, I recommend you do that because it's just a free pack of weapon. Uh, but I spawned at the SOG now because of my level, so I just don't really care about it. Right now. Also, if you guys noticed, have not gotten the shield because even though I've played this map quite a number of times, I always forget where the shield parts are. Another nuke. Uh, quit complaining. It'll be a whole lot Watch hotter out. where you're headed. Yeah, I have gotten really good luck this game. Uh, I am running pretty low on ammo for this. Another fire sale. Oh, also you can decrease your affinity by shooting. Anyone need a better gas? Like if you see, I just got like a lot of grapple boss because I feel like I'm hate. Apparently they don't like to get doused in the fire. Fire. Engineer. Okay, getting live wire on this thing and getting death of Orion really early was... Oh no! And I still have nightmares about these blood father guys! This is over, I am keeping this thing! There's a blight father somewhere in here. Pants, cause one's never enough. Should have picked on someone your own size, you dumb son of a bitch. This could be suicide, or it could be. Uh, 
I'm gonna run up here mad quick and do the blade they trap because you get a survive. max ammo from one of them. Oh, I'll hit this just in case I get this right. Now what? Nope. A So this is the tapped strike that you get. I'm gonna reject it because I don't want. What the hell is this? Petitions are gone. Yeah, if you do do this early enough, you can finish most of the challenges the by mix. just getting packed, like melee kills. Um, you can get an early round easily. Son of a bitch. Also, a good thing this game did, you actually get, uh, like, your grenades recharge, and, uh, what was I just about to say? Oh, yeah, the max ammo, like, refills your magazine, too, so you don't have to reload before, like, you get a max ammo. Like, it doesn't matter. It's something I remember a lot. It's like, alright, we got a max ammo, I can reload. Jinx it. Alright, well, there's the video. Uh, take my advice or don't. I like, doesn't matter to me. But yeah, this has been a ultimate casual player's guide to Call of Duty Zombies. Which game you should pick. Don't know what I'm going to title it, but there's that. Uh, Gutentag, there's a bunch of weapon XP player XP liquid divinium bonuses I don't know if it's on all games but I know it's on this game and I know it's on uh, modern warfare so if you're gonna buy a game buy it now or when it's on sale uh, they do double XP a lot but yeah see you guys